Last time you were on the show, when it was a different world, we were all together in a little tiny studio, all yeah. face to face. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that anymore. Cannot do that. <laughs> we were we were uh, we were talking about Harriet, which of course led to uh, nominations for song, Oscar nominations for song, Oscar nomination for uh, best actress. Um, what an interesting role to have dived into, you, I'm sure, research on her, research on the Civil War. And so you, and, and, but you're from, you know, London. Uh, yeah. What an interesting perspective you must have right now on the conversation going on in this country. Yeah, I mean, what I think what's happening in this country is like necessary for sure. Um, and I think it's what I'm noticing also is that finally the UK is now stepping up to uh, admit that it has its part to play also in racism. And uh, I'm quite pleased that that's happening now because I think for far too long, it sort of has hidden behind um, niceties and gotten away with far too much. So um, now it's come to light and people are across the world wanting to talk about how terrible the treatment has been and how things have to change, which is, and to have come out of doing uh, Harriet and and exploring all of the things that she had done to uh, maintain equality and to gain equality right until the very day she died um, is kind of awesome. I think this is probably what she would have wanted. Yeah, it's uh, it it's interesting, you know, to the point that we've not really had the conversation before. Uh, Harriet, uh, that yeah. where you played Harriet Tubman, was the first major studio movie ever about. Yeah. Harriet Tubman, which yeah. that's an appalling thing, actually. I'm very uh, glad that you did it and that it was you. you. But, you. Uh, you know, just that, that point alone means we have not fully addressed this issue. I, I, I ask people sometimes if they're, um, how they feel, you know, black friends, if, they're, if they feel hopeful because it is such a loud conversation, seems constructive, um, or if they feel like, well, we've been here before. We've heard the words police reform too many times. But yeah. it's interesting that you, you talk about how the conversation really is global. Yeah, absolutely. And I, think, I don't think we can, until, I think we, we keep having the conversation until something changes, things change and things stick. And what we're seeing is that there's a trickle effect that's happening right now where things are starting to change. Rules are starting to be moved. Rules are starting to change. Uh, things are starting to be put in place to make sure that uh, things like this don't happen anymore. But um, I think we keep having the conversation until it changes completely for the better. Um, and the fact that it's happening across the world is a really, really important thing to notice because it means that everyone has to take their responsibility for uh, what has been happening. Um, I think when it comes to Harriet, I hope and pray there are more movies about her. We've seen many about Lincoln. We've seen many about others. And I think that she, her story is only halfway told. She lived until she was 91. So there's a lot more to, to tell about her. Um, and all of it teaches uh, that the fight for equality is never ending, to be honest. And I think that what what's happened is that not enough change has happened fast enough. And so now we're trying to catch up with what is necessary to happen. But when we do, there'll still need to be more change and we'll, we'll hopefully learn that as the years go by, things have to keep uh, evolving and changing uh, for the better because we have a whole generation who uh, doesn't even know this is happening right now. Um, and they deserve to come into a world that is fit and ready for them.